On this beautiful day, we are going to visit the Netflix <laughs> office, the famous Netflix Our office. Tour. This is the Netflix office. Oh my god. Honestly, if I also work for Netflix, I don't think I'll get any work done. The views. This staff get free breakfast and lunch every day. It's insane. And this is the outside view. Patio for them. Wow. Babe, so we need to work for Netflix. I know. I know. I know. What's yeah. going on? Yeah. Babe, look. He said that during the summer months, yeah. they clear all of this out and they'll bring like up and coming artists to perform. Yeah. Wow. And people can sit here. We, we, wow. Have wine. we have wine and we have beer. No, seriously, this is insane. So nice, like, during the sunset, like as a good start. No. The views oh, in the office so is so insane. So you can see the Hollywood sun. And then. Hello, my friends. Shit. What, what happened? What did you do? I think I left my phone. You left your phone? My actual phone. Do you need it? Is it essential? <sighs> do you need to post something? I mean... If we need to post something, then we should I don't go. have any... If there's nothing pressing, then you should be alright with it. Are you expecting anything important to happen? I just don't like not having my phone. Like, you know how that feeling is annoying. Okay, cool. We didn't turn back. We are unfortunately already running behind to Miriam's Pixie event. She is collabing with them again. It's her second launch. I forgot my phone, which is no big deal. Let me know in the comments down below. I know it's not like the end of the world to go somewhere without your phone, but like I just really was like, okay, we're only two blocks away. Might as well turn back around and get it. But like I couldn't fathom the idea of just like not being without a phone. Never mind the fact that I have two phones, but this is really more like my trap phone. It's not like my real phone. So yeah, I sent it back inside and maybe it's just a me thing, but I was just like, I'm just not comfortable not having my phone, my main phone. Maybe it's just me. But yeah, I'm excited. I am all glammed up. I got one of my favorite pair. I don't really, I'm not really an earrings kind of person, but I have one of my little favorite studs. I'm wearing East Coast Slay. It's, East Coast Slayer, East Coast Bay, which is another friend of mine, Makeup by Denise. She just collabed with Bobby Brown. So I went and supported her glasses because apparently there was a whole snafu with the PR boxes. Yeah, it's East Coast Slay. It's peachy nude. It's definitely a little bit lighter than what I'm used to, but it, it works. It's still a gloss, you know, it's not that, it's not that serious. But yeah, it's really cute. It worked out real cute with my little nude combo today. Thank you, darling. You're the best. Hello, people. Can I have a mint, babe? Yes, you can have a mint because her breath smells. Okay, I'm joking. Her breath smells really good. I'm joking. But anyway, people, it's been a while since we had a chat with you guys. Like, I feel like we have been terrible with vlogging. We haven't been as consistent as we like. Isn't that right, babes? I don't know about you, but I've been on my grind. I've been out here trying to get my clients. I've been doing Turn good. To South Highland Avenue. It's true, she's been grinding. And I've been studying, unfortunately. I've been studying for my real estate license. I'm trying to get my California license so I can start buying and selling homes out here. So I'm really excited about that. Um, so that's keeping me busy. Um, what else has been going on? Game of Thrones, the end of Game of Thrones was trash. Trash, 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 trash. You know, I'm not arguing with no damn body about that. Too. Yeah, listen, I was so disappointed after Wayne. How many seasons? Seven seasons for winter, really for that. winter to come, and for it to happen like that. They really could have kept that. And the way they killed off Cersei, and obviously spoilers, obviously spoiler I'm alert, the spoiler only alert. Person who wasn't mad at Cersei's death? <laughs> nah, but like, I'm my mad. My issue was, yeah, like I get it. There could have been more satisfying ways. Like, I'm not upset with the layout of events, obviously you know i think the end was going to eventually come to that point anyway i don't think it's the ending that changed it's the way that it was executed wasn't very it was just like rushed and, and slapped together one full like i think that we could have used a couple more episodes and this was definitely slapped together like very very poor execution and i'm sorry if you don't agree cool if you do that's wonderful too but you know like 
but yeah. Arguing with people over a fictional TV series is yeah. for the birds. Because when I tweeted that, there are a lot of people like, well, that was a, we're the real fans. Like, you can be a real fan. And still have an opinion. And be disappointed. Relax. Yeah, it's all Suzanne. good. Suzanne. But anyway, we won't spend too much time on this show because <laughs> we're over it. Um, these these roads are very tight. Jackie's always complaining about my rhyme, but we won't get into it. Um, That's because I don't break every five seconds out of nowhere. Anyway, um, we are on way to an event with Pixie, Miriam, and Lee are in town, our people. I already told them that. Uh, oh, you told them already? Yeah, okay, cool. I so she told you. See, look, she's ahead of the game. So anyway, we're off there to have some dinner. We're super hungry. I know she told you that as well, because she's hungry and I'm hungry. And we need to get some food down on us. Um, what else has been happening? What else has been? Arsenal are trash. My team, Arsenal. My no football cares. team from the UK, trash team. We won't talk about them as well. What else has been happening, babes? No one cares. Anything exciting coming up? We're going to New Orleans. We're doing New Orleans this year. We're doing the um, Essence Festival. We're we really sure excited are. about that. So if you see us, come say hi. Don't be shy um, and everything. In fact, let's talk about that in terms of how to approach people or people. public people, influencers. I'm, I'm a normal person, so you can approach me anyhow. Are you? But yeah. So, but we've had this debate on like, hey, there's been, let's give, let's give a few tips because some people are like, how do I approach you? Like, first of all, we're very chilled, welcoming. Who said that? Welcoming people, like, you can come to say hi to us. No, I'm asking, like, who asked that question? No, um, no I've seen a few people in the past, and you've had a few incidents where people have literally grabbed um, Jackie or pushed her to say hi, and it's like, relax, she's a human being, you can come and say hi. And it's times as well when, it's like, not that often, though. I know, it's very, it's very rare, but I still it's think it's rare. important to, like, you like, it's very important to kind of make people aware of this because, one, listen, it's okay to come and say hi to people. Listen, Jackie loves meeting people, and Whoa, that was close. Can I just no? It really that was went. close. Look. Can look. I just say I think that meeting someone, um, how to approach an influencer is yeah. just like meeting anyone for the first time in general. Like you would just be cool. Just be, like, just be cool. Just be say polite. hi. Small. I mean, if we're at a convention, yeah. There's a if we're at like a meet and greet and you scream, I'm not gonna fault you. Like it's exciting. I get it. It's fun. People get caught off guard. But yeah, you know, some of these little grabbers. Yeah, mm. and listen, like there's certain times where you have to be a problem. Think about it. If you, if she's at the restroom, come on, like give her some time to wash her hands. You know what I mean? Get ourselves together. Yeah, like, wash your hands too. Yeah, it's like, oh, can I get a picture? Like, yo, yeah, that's cool, but give me some time to, you know what I mean? Go and use the restroom and come back out. Like things like that. Or even when you're at dinner and you're mid eating your food, like just give them a moment, like to finish their food and come over maybe, or come over in the end. Now, I've seen some people do it really well. Like they can see you, and I, I can, I can kind of sense that they know you but they would wait until you finish and you and then they'll be like oh hi so that's like just think about things like that because I, I get it it's exciting when you meet someone that you like and you admire and I listen I understand that like we're not saying don't do it we love it just making it very very clear for people will take my words and try and twist it whoa um, but yeah listen just want to say look come and say hi and um, we're cool we're chilled we don't smell um, <laughs> but yeah, um, we're really excited about um, New Orleans. What else is happening? What else is on, up on our schedule, babes? Mm. Wedding. We're going to Arizona. Oh wait, I was like wedding. Since when? <laughs> You're like Not wedding. Our wedding. I was like, wait, wedding? Yeah, someone's getting married. Wedding. Yeah. And when's that again? July. It's actually a Fourth of July wedding. There's quite a few things happening. Miles. Turn left. We're still nine minutes away. Yeah. Damn. Two. Got a while to go. The weather's been strange as well in LA. Yeah, it's not. Yes, it has. For June. Hmm. June, you expect some consistently. Well, if you don't live here or if you're not from here, then you would know that. You've been to, yeah. June gloom is actually our gloomy season. Okay. We'll go with that. It's pretty common. I love it though, because it's like a little, it's like a last spring send off before summer. Anyway, I'm going to head off, people. We're going to head off. Uh, we're nearly at the venue, and we'll speak to you soon. Peace out. We're at a beautiful venue. Looking, looking amazing. As are you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. These shoes are so comfortable. What are they? What are they called? Are they loops? Oh, loops, yeah. Shoes. It's one of the only styles of Louboutins that are actually comfortable. Picture spot. 
At least you got, you got a photographer, you're perfect. Ladies, 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 ladies. Second day again. And sometimes strange. It still all turns out the way you think. But if you want some good advice, I can offer this small wink. You find that. Wow, we actually have two collabs sitting at this table. Tinny, just, I was just talking about your collab. We were just vlogging about your collab. Bobby Brown. <laughs> even I know. Even, even Chocolate Daddy knows. <laughs> yeah, of course it is. It's a part of the experience of like supporting people you like. W. Yeah, thank you everybody for coming and the, the community and the support we're getting. Uh, thank you very much uh, for everybody, especially the, the four preachers that are here and uh, we're all doing so. Thank you everybody and that's how it comes out. Sir, what you, sir, you're gonna get run over, sir. Sir, sir, please watch the vehicle, sir. Thank you, sir.